Hi everybody, I'm Damian Clark, and welcome to another episode of Soundcheck. This time around, we'll be taking a career-spanning look at one of the most successful rock bands ever, the Eagles. With five number one singles, four number one albums, two of which ranked among the ten best-selling albums ever, the Eagles are among the most successful recording artists of all time. This time on Soundcheck, we'll examine the Eagles' impressive musical legacy and go back to 2004 in Melbourne, where the Eagles put on an incredible concert. You'll see some of these memorable performances and get a first glimpse at a brand new two-disc DVD set of this Australian concert. One of music's very best, the Eagles, our showcase artist on this episode of Soundcheck. From the Eagles' very beginning, it was evident that the group had perfected their own unique combination of country and rock and roll, while penning heartfelt songs that seemed to resonate with their audience. The Eagles recorded their self-titled debut in 1972 with British rock producer Glyn Johns, establishing their sound with songs like Take It Easy and Peaceful Easy Feeling. They furthered their country influence on music with Desperado in 1973, which not only included the title track, but also Tequila Sunrise. Well, here's a real treat for you as we take you down under to Australia for a 2004 performance of New Kid in Town, right here on Soundcheck. I think the Eagles' success, once again, uh, it's, it's obvious to me, it's all in the songs. I think Desperado was like the first song that we wrote together that we said, you know, this has got a little meat to it, this has got some feeling, uh, you know, this has got good words. We tried to put a lot of uh, thought into those songs, a lot of universal themes that a lot of, that many people could relate to. We didn't, we didn't write from a terribly narrow or personal perspective. And I think we really rolled up our sleeves and got serious about uh, songwriting at that point. The group's music headed in more of a straight-ahead rock and roll direction on their next two albums, leading up to Hotel California, which was released in December of 76, an album which firmly cemented the band's standing as the most significant musical act of the 70s. As a testament to the band's enduring popularity, 
Eagles, their greatest hits, 1971 to 1975, has sold more than 28 million copies in the U.S. alone and is the best-selling record of all time. And here now is a brand new song from the Eagles. It's No More Cloudy Days, right here on Soundcheck. I guess you could say it's really easy for us to be the Eagles because we're the Eagles. But, uh, it, you know, it's, uh, it's still fun to play with the guys and it's still fun going on the road. We can do as many farewell tours as we want as long as we number them, you know. It, we're really, really uh, lucky and in such a great position to be able to still do something that we truly enjoy doing and still do it at a relatively high level. We take a lot of time and care in making sure everything is spot on as possible. We're all extremely grateful to have the work and to have this many, this, this much success and, and so many fans who have stuck with us for so long. I mean, it's, it's, it's a miracle, really. It's phenomenal that, that this is still going on. The Eagles, an unmatched hit-making legacy, and obviously the soundtrack for a generation. The Eagles finished the first leg of their successful Farewell One tour by rocking a marathon concert in Melbourne, Australia in November of 2004. The entire performance has been captured on the two DVD set Farewell One Tour Live from Melbourne, which features the Eagles powering through nearly three hours of their greatest hits and unveiling two new tracks. Original Eagles Glenn Fry and Don Henley, along with longtime members Joe Walsh and Timothy B. Schmidt, performed 29 songs from the band's six studio albums, including hits like Peaceful Easy Feeling, Hotel California, and Desperado. The DVD also features rare behind-the-scenes footage and new interviews with the band, all shot in high definition and presented in 5.1 surround sound. This is a definite must-have for any Eagles fan. Well, that's all for this edition of Soundcheck. I'm your host, Damian Clark, 
And for all those responsible for this one, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your flight.